percent of the FM is from the big bank. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Or thereabouts. I call now. Might that one should flash. Uh, yeah, so that one is a little bit. bit. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Just a tiny bit. So dark room it would work. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can see it flickering. Yeah. yeah. Um, the cordless phone works really well. Is that sure looking? It's like a tightening a bit. Yeah. Oh, again, later, but the simple, the opposite exercise is just kebab sticks with jelly babies and duct tape and some stands and clamps and so on. But the idea is you can transmit waves down and back in these various ways and means of doing it. And you might want to think about a few things whilst you're having a little play with this, which is about reflection. You might want to think about um, transmission in different mediums. You might want to think about how in fact, these, these jelly beans are balanced here. And then just at halfway down, they start getting balanced a bit differently. The jelly beans are closer to the center. What effect might that have? How might that translate into a different phenomena you're trying to teach related to waves? Um, but it's a nice way of demonstrating, and you can have a little play with the transmission of words so that works against it once it. Yeah, I mean, in your notes again, there's a link to an IFP video, which is uh, um, showing you this. And he starts off with jelly babies from end to end, and then quickly whips them off entirely so that this half would have no jelly babies at all. Now that makes a real change, obviously, to the mass of the system there. And he sets a wave off, and you really can see the change in wave speed. So if you're dealing with things like refraction, as, as waves coming to shallow water, for example, you've got a good demonstration there. I was just saying this morning, I think what Dan's got here is actually more subtle, because the mass of that two jelly babies and stick is the same as the mass of that one there, but the inertia is different because he's moved the jelly babies in. Yeah. And I think if you were teaching A-level physics, yeah. and the really boring stuff, you do rotary motion, inertia, that is tedious, isn't it? But here, if you've got one of these set up anyway for something else, it's quite nice to show that, that the inertia of that stick is different from that one. Because the wave propagation speed depends on some form of stiffness, which is to do with tension and the nature of the tape, as it were, and some inertia factor. It's the ratio of those two, or the root of that ratio, which determines the speed up and down there. So there's actually quite a lot in this beyond the... And obviously, just, just from the simple to the very difficult, but what you might find, the reason why we can't do that this morning is because this is a little on a cupboard in my classroom, and we yeah. get it out every now and again. But they, because it's been for years, they actually get almost welded, these things, <laughs> and you can't actually move them. I had a time, oh, that one's one of the one I loosened earlier, but you, if you try and move these jelly babies, you'll find that some of them are very difficult to move. We need to make a new one, but we, we 